This is about corporate dominance in America where power has been concentrated in the hands of a few. It's not just money, it's power and politics. Separate the money from the politics. That's I'm democracy. here to support Occupy Wall Street because I believe in the movement. I'm with the National, Associ National Awareness Coalition for the People, and we make people aware of what's going on in their city, states, and, the, and this nation concerning budget cuts, unemployment rates, and voter ID laws. And I charge, I, I wish that everyone that was unemployed in the state of South Carolina, which is over 300,000, people that they should be out here joining us. Uh, I believe that this is a good movement. I believe that these groups coming together is a very positive thing and um, I just wish and, and pray that every that there would be a lot of people that would be out here supporting Occupy Wall Street along with all the other groups and that um, and that we continue to stand together because together we stand divided we fall. There are so many people honking, it's awesome, <laughs> but it's noisy. Um, so I'm here really because my passion is education, and I think it's so important to properly educate the American people on how to think critically so that we don't just sit at home and mindlessly consume the media that is paid for by the corporations and just take what they say as the truth. Um, so I just think it's so important to get out here and, and remind people that democracy is about the people coming together united for for something that we believe in the fact is that since 1979 the richest one percent in this country have seen their incomes triple while the vast majority of us have our wages remain flat this while they wreck the economy and tell us well you need to bail us out or we're gonna burn down the economic house so we bailed them out now we're paying interest on the bailout and uh, you know, I, I just have a problem with that, especially considering, you know, they want to talk about personal responsibility, but the personal responsibility was shirked to the taxpayer for wrecking the economy. And now the economy isn't recovering, and the time has come for us to do something about it. And, uh, you know, now is our time. Just here to occupy uh, Columbia, like so many good citizens are, trying to get fairness and uh, Respect for the uh, the uh, uh, the foundations of what our country used to be uh, in November 2007, uh, when the banks were bailed out, the rest of us lost out, and not one of those people has been even accused of any crime. Uh, they've just gotten away with everything. That here in the southern states, they have again the Jim Crow laws uh, persecuted em immigrants uh, for distract the American for, from the main problem, the source of the problem, saying the immigrants are here taken job from the Americans. That is not true because the immigrants here are working in many jobs. They are not holding any government position. Um, they are very hard-working people, but the United States now, with the uh, GOP control the House, are passing the more reactionary laws and the immigrant and the immigrations. They want to stay. Uh, they want to take away the, the federal uh, government to enforce the laws. The only federal government um, can enforce, such as the immigration law. This is for distract the American people from what the source the problem, which is what? Corporation, transnational corporation shipping more jobs to overseas. If you want to find a job, you have to go to Colombia, South Korea, and Panama. There are the American jobs. Thank you, ma'am. I'm you here because well. I'm representing disabled veterans of the United States of America. I was disabled after being charged with post-traumatic stress disorder after leaving the Iraq war. I'm here because I'm not satisfied with how the United States government is taking care of their veterans. I'm, I'm not any happier or any better after fighting for oil or fighting for natural resources in the Saudi Arabia and in the Kuwait Peninsula. I'm disenfranchised. I don't, I don't, I don't know why I, I sacrificed four years of my life to defend oil when women, innocent women and children are being murdered for the sole purpose of filling up the Tahoes that are passing by right now. It's not my fight, and I'm not going to continue to contribute to it. Basically, in today's country, uh, money talks, and the people with all the money get to do all the talking, and the people with no money don't get to do any talking. So I think it's time that someone hears us, even if we don't have any money to pay for it. So. Thank you, ma'am. 
I'm here to fight for the American dream for everybody and everyone. Plain and simple. Thank <laughs> you.